अचानक हमारा मोबाइल की घंटी बजती है और हम में से किसी एक को एक मैसेज पढ़ने को मिलता है मैसेज कुछ इस प्रकार ड्यू टू दिस रीज़न द स्कूल शेल रिमेन क्लोज आह उस समय हमारा मन ही नहीं बल्कि तन भी थिरक थिरक उठता है और वो एहसास है कुछ इस प्रकार हेलो श्रुति मैम हाँ शिल्पा मैम बोलो अरे मैम प्लीज जल्दी से मोबाइल चेक करो अरे क्या हो गया शिल्पा मैम जल्दी से मोबाइल चेक करो हमारे स्कूल से मैसेज आया है कौन से मैसेज की बात कर मैम छुट्टी का मैसेज आया सर देखो तो सही क्या बात कर रही है हाँ जल्दी देखो
ओर चल देते हैं और हम भी नई योजनाओं की ओर अपना रुख मोड़ लेते हैं आगे की जो भावनाएं हैं वो बच्चों की तरफ से हमारे लिए हैं इससे पहले तक की भावनाएं हमारी थी बच्चों के लिए आइए ज़रा ध्यान दीजिए वो हमारे बारे में क्या सोचते हैं देखते हैं क्या है
Now, the challenge here is, teachers will request you to stand, stand behind. You can see there are various items on the table, such as Pani Puri, cheese links, gulab jamun, and lemonade. Now, the interesting part is, it's a full relay. So, you stand in a line first. The first person comes, the first thing that you have to eat is a Pani Puri using your hand. So, Pani Puri lovers stand first. Second thing you have to eat is the cheese link. So, cheese link lovers stand second. Third thing you have to eat is a gulab jamun. So, gulab jamun lovers stand third. And the last thing is the lemonade. Now, the twist here is you can use your hands only to eat Pani Puri. The rest of the things, your hands should be tied behind. So, all the best. Only the Pani Puri, you can use the hand. And only when the person finishes the Pani Puri, he is supposed to go behind and the next person is supposed to come. But rest of the things, you are not supposed to use your hands. So be creative and finish what is in your plate. Ready teachers? Ready participants? After the whistle, you start. Sushita. The first person, both together. You cannot use your hands for anything else than Pani Puri. Only Pani Puri is supposed to first fill it, eat it, and then go back. Ready? Okay, all set teacher. On the whistle now.
when life gives you a lemon, squeeze them and make lemonade. So when life gives you lemon, squeeze them and make lemonade. Vishwajit sir has got what? An egg. When life gives you an egg, beat it and make it an omelette. Thank you so much. I like eggs. Thank you, sir. When life gives you nothing, don't worry. You still have your karma. <laughs> and the last winner has got? I have got stones. When life gives you stones, build a palace. It's wonderful. They are made by hard efforts, which is the price which all of us must pay to achieve any goal, which is worthwhile. This beautiful quote by Vince Lombardi is perfectly defining our dear principal, Sharda Ma'am. She is a leader who is always striving to make our lives as teachers better and peaceful. Your commitment and sacrifice towards this great citadel of learning makes us be always in awe of you. We have never met a person as humble and as decent as you. Now, I request Shana Ma'am to kindly come ahead and address the teachers on this special day.
moment. Whatever it has been, which has gone past, it is past. And whatever it is going to come, is the future. The future can be stored with lots of beautiful things. your own self. And that future is standing upon the solid foundation of present. That's why it is called the present. And this present is for all of us from the Supreme Almighty. It is a very beautiful thing to see how this present moment is being with beautiful participation from the masters of the ceremony to the commentators to the participants in which the courage with which the parents participated and each one of your teachers where you really gave your heart out it talks about you as a parent and you as the teacher, the supporting staff members, that you're truly creating victorious kids. Victorious kids, when they come, their parents come, we keep meeting often. Whether as I'm leaving for home, some late parents come to pick up the children, or on a birthday time, when mommy and daddy come down with a cake to say happy birthday for the child. First time when the parents come down for interview before seeking the admission. And I always have a nice surprise, happy surprise. Some parents will walk in just to say hello. And I have this question all the time. I, I look at your eyes. I look at your face. And you know the beauty part of it, it almost all the time, not every time, almost all the time. Uh, when I ask you, so how's your champion doing? And daddy and mommy, or the teacher who's brought in the children with a great performance, he smiles and says, it very nice. I see that is all. No, 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 very nice, very nice. I said, how oh, very nice is very nice. A champion, great. And honestly, today, uh, this is about 24 years running this school. When I look at the end product of you as the teacher, you as the teacher, as the father, as the mother, and a school in partners as the teacher teacher, it was a very nice surprise. I wanted to do some more detailed study on the Upanishad, so I was looking for more books. We have a lot with the grace of Shantabam, wherever she goes, she buys with all the Upanishads. I had placed an order, I didn't get to read the whole thing, but it is said it is the culmination of all the Upanishads and the messages. And it came down last evening. And Shadavam opened. It, it was not written down. Who is the one who has done the compilation of the entire Upanishad of its meaning for people like you and me across the globe? And Shadavam presented the book to me, and I was, we had just gone back. I started turning, and the first thing it came into four, in the top of the book, it is written, Dr. Radha Krishna. That book has been compiled out of all the Upanishads. No wonder he is the Bharat Ratha. But notice right on top is written, every child has at birth the greater potential of intelligence. 
and Isaac Newton, Einstein, Leonardo da Vinci, or Burton Russell, or Dr. Radhakrishnan, or Swami Vivekananda, Jesus Christ, and Buddha, and Mahatman. You and I have that gift. So look, there are lots of people who are earning lots of rupees. They're doing lots of good studies in IIT and IMS and going to foreign countries and doing. Notice, the teachers are you and I. And also, you and I, the teachers, when you become the parent. As the mother, as the father, as the teachers. We may not be earning so much in terms of money. Somebody else may be earning just creating a little poster for a builder. Maybe six lakh. The guy who is giving that holding to you for rent may be making 15 lakhs per month. Look at you. You're putting that invisible, absolutely invisible, called meson, boson, lead brain, cryon. What are they? Sub sub atomic particle. You cannot see them with your naked eye. And that's what you're planting into the minds, into the hearts, into the inspirations of the children to say, there is something within me. And I am different, not just by body, but I have something else. And that discovery, that secret power is because of you. You're the one who's doing it. The best of gift that one can ever give. Firstly, the fact that you and I have been placed in a position where you and I can give something. It's a, it's a great, infinite honor by the Supreme God, Allah, Christ, whatever name you call it. It's a great gift to us that we could give. That you and I have been placed together to mold, to shape that beautifully profitable material which is available. You could do that. The best gift that you can ever give is not money, it's not the property, it's not some kingdom. We can all go away. But that gift which you could give, which creates a country, creates millions of people, Swami Vivekananda went down and asked his guru, I want to go into Samadhi and stay in Samadhi so that I have the supreme exhilaration of feeling of staying in bliss. Paramahansha Krishna slapped him. Did you know that I haven't created you for your personal Satisfaction. You're supposed to bring it for anybody else. So whatever you and I have today is a divine gift. And that gift is to be meted out to everyone. As someone who has the power to share. And when Dr. Radhakrishnan was asked for his birthday, how would you like it to be celebrated? He said, I always wanted to be a teacher. I am a teacher, but I can see, imagine Bharat and one of the highly educated person. He said, I can see I had so much to do and I couldn't do. So let us celebrate my birthday as the teacher's day. And that's how in India, teacher's day is the Dr. Radhakrishnan's day. In terms of what is there, it is not thinking, it is not grabbing, it is not storing, but it is giving. The best gift that you can give is that wisdom, knowingness. It is
it's not data. You can give data feed to the computer. Computer can take the data, analyze it, and give you some result. It is not information. The difference between here and the other schools, other parents, other children. They are also creating great people, great children, very nice. But the difference between you is you're not giving just information. You're telling them, collaborate, collate, inquire, ask questions, find out more. It's just the beginning. The beyond is where you and I have to go. And that's when the wisdom is utilized in that manner, that becomes the knowledge. And that knowledge is the one only you can hear as the teacher. You tell me this world, this world can do very well without a stone crusher, without a farmer, without a builder, without a businessman. Can this world do without a teacher? Notice you're automatically a teacher. The moment you're born as a human being, even if you don't teach, teach in a school, college, university, you're teaching as a parent, you're teaching as a friend. So the great people of the world today, everyone, starting from ancient rishis of the world, thousands of years old, the Confucius and Plato, and I don't know if you're aware, Kung Fu, you know Kung Fu martial art? You'd be surprised, Kung Fu was a great saint, great rishi. All he did, and at that time, he said, only this is not enough. You have to become a good citizen of the country. You have to also protect your country. So let us teach you. So he gave 10 instruments that you have to learn. Some of them were martial arts. And that's how the martial art is taken from it and because it sells more. So, everybody said, Kung Fu martial art, it means only that. It is not. It was much more than that. All these great masters, they were all teachers. But it is a divine grace, absolutely, that you and I are together and learning. I wish to leave with you as the present parent, whether you're working as a teacher, or a business person, or a professional, or as a teacher, teacher, or just as a mother, or just as a father, or a would-be mother, father, teacher. Three simple principles. Number one, that we must give it to our kids. Confidence. Self confidence. I can. You notice in your classroom, in yours and my school days classroom, if you go and ask the children, the girls, the boys are all together, let's say you give a problem. You notice only few would take it up. Majority are looking at each other, who's going to volunteer? And some are weak enough to say, I can't. You as a teacher, hold that collar and lift them up and say, you monkey, you can. Start with the first step. 100 meters race, at the end of which is the award. What about the race right now? Take the first step. Come on, I'll show you how. Look at an ocean. Endless waves after waves after waves are coming in and beautiful, creating lots of fun, joy. That little bubble, the frog, the little wave, the bigger wave. But what is it? Is, is it the water? No, the wave is made of the water shear. 
But it's not the water. It's the energy under the water, through the water, which is making it as the wave. Or let's say, when you send a message. So you and I have both grown up Say, see no evil. We were told, don't look at naked men and women. You and I were brought up by saying, speak no evil. Remember the three monkeys? And hear no evil. You are creating children today who has to say, what's of no evil? It is the what's of word. Chant, no gossip. Create, use the same tool. Exchange your thoughts. While the team went ahead and Shaldaman invited you for the future, take that first step. You are not only a teacher, not only just a parent, for some around us, whether as children or students. Most important of all, discover that self-confidence within you. You. I'll just give a tiny bit. I reflect on it. Let us me. And the person from outside me, I look at myself, and each one of you will have a similar story. I'm just reflecting on it. There was an All India selection for the 1962 migration of the China to India. The India wanted to create rapidly Indian Air Force, Army and Navy. In the Air Force selection, I was already selected as an Army officer, but somebody told me, don't go to Army, go to Air Force. I said, okay. So there was an SSB selection board all over India, various state selections that we landed up for the final in Goalier. At Goalier, there was a, besides the written test and pilot's aptitude test, they were very tough and long for about six days. Then they had two days of checking you. Who are you? So in that I remember there were lots of things they were checking out. There was one game. I have not forgotten it. There were two gold posts, football gold posts, facing each other. The gold posts, 70% of the part is painted red. On top, on the side, you can't touch it. The ground in between, like the ground between the two gold posts, is also painted red. Though it's got sand. Because if you fall down, you will not be hurt. And on the sides, that are also painted. On that side, approximately about six feet. This side, about six feet. And you were given two teams. Like today, you had two teams. So we were about six, five, six of us in each team. And we were given the task. There was a huge, the black tar you see on the road, cherry can. Huge one, I think, hundred meter or something in the capacity. It was empty, of course, but it was still very heavy. We were fourteen and a half, fifteen years of age. Pick up that and go across the two. You have to climb through that and go to the other side with that jerry can. Either with your team or alone. Task is that jerry can has to go to the other side. It is the drop. Not cherry can. So all of us put our head together and I said, I will jump up, I will go. I went up and they handed over the cherry can. They were all saying, Hey, you watch out. If you fall, you break your hand. You will not be selected for Air Force. All that thing was coming at me. I said, It's okay, I will do it. I got up, they gave it to me, I picked it up. And I, like a monkey, wanted to jump within six feet across. It's hard. It, you can hardly carry it. I had to jump with that. I, of course, jumped and I failed miserably. I landed right in the center of the red. 
and the drum also felt it felt on the right. And my team member, oh, and they, one or two of them, kind enough come and say, no, you're not hurt, everything is okay, you're not broken. Now, I used to be a very tough boy. I said, no, 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 everything is okay. I came back feeling very sheepish, and the doctor who was in charge of the psychological test, he invited the other team. The other team was coming in. I went and said, sir, he looked at me. I said, could you give us one more try? He said, but you have lost your chance. I said, yes, sir, please, one more try. He said, all right. He waved off those other guys. We stood up to make you understand. This time I did it. I threw the drop and then I jumped on the other side. I must have touched a little bit of red, but the judge ignored it. I landed on the other side. And you know what amazes me, why I'm remembering it today? The one of the colleagues who got selected with me, we were only eight of us were selected in the home team from the whole country. I met him recently. He was talking to me, usual childhood story. He said, do you remember that SSP test? I said, yeah. I said, do you know who stood first in that? I said, no. I said, what did you do? You did very well. He said, yeah, I stood second. I said, really? Who stood first? He said, you. I said, me? No way. He said, yeah. I said, how do you know that? You know, we don't believe people. I said, how do you know that? He said, you champion. My brother was commanding that selection board. His brother was the chief test pilot. And he was commanding that selection board. I said, really? I reflect upon it. You know what made me, when I'm talking to you, give them that self-confidence. Don't break it down. You know, somebody taught me, must be my teachers like you. My parent told me, try again. Try again. Try again. Don't give it up. Self-confidence. The first gift. You should never be able to say, this is not for you. If the situation has come, where you as a teacher, you as a parent, you are the gentleman, lady, or the child, or the boy, or the girl has to face it. It's a divine grace. Cosmic energy is putting it up to you. Face it. Keep attempting till you succeed. Do not give up. That's the first gift. Second gift. When you started off from today, whether you came by a car, a driver, or a taxi, or an auto rickshaw, you told them no. When you got into the drive, driver, if your own driver must have said, Where are we going? Mem Sam, kaha You have to tell, no? Where are we going? You have to get ready in the morning. Today you have to go early in the morning. Where? You're telling yourself, it's cool, cool. We have to be there on time. So, you know where you're going. Do you know something? You and I keep meeting these boys and girls in your own life. Anytime I see a 10th standard, 12th standard boys and girls and I ask them, so, what's your plan? Where are you going? I haven't made up my mind yet. Haven't you heard this? We keep hearing it. Hey, guide the children right from the beginning. It doesn't matter if they make six aims, mission, goals, target. So what? Let them have six missions. And slowly as they proceed, they will slowly finalize, maybe onto one. But who says that you cannot be a great writer? A great speaker, orator, a great singer, a great musician, a great businessman. Maybe you could start up the great trading business. Maybe you could a great humanitarian. Maybe along with all that, you could be a great empathy person.
others to help other people. Show them that. Tell them to start to do that, to have a mission, have a goal. Start. Doesn't matter if they say Spider-Man. All right. Be a Spider-Man. You and I do what? When they what are you going to be? Spider-Man. And you laugh. And you and mommy or daddy say no. Yes, beta. They also know you don't mean it. You also know. You're already giving them you. Not possible. No way. We are giving this information to our children continuously. No negative statement. Don't make in front of the child a statement, either the teacher, the parent or something, that this, what you have done, cannot be done better. But it doesn't mean don't put them down. Say very nice. Don't say 90%. Got six out of eight. Okay, next time eight. Don't say that. You see, you know what? In my whole life, I could never get six out of eight or eighty-four percent. Whatever we are talking about. See, I could never get it. Even if you got it in your life. Say I couldn't. You have done it. And you know it used to be always my dream. Can I ever get 100 out of 100? You say, I. You're not saying you go and do it. It's very interesting to say, don't tell lies. But are you at least showing it to the kids, I don't tell lies. I cannot tell lies. The third is concentration. Anything that you do today, if you don't concentrate, you can't. That's the biggest faculty given by God to us. The moment, what is meditation? Meditation is nothing else but concentration. Concentrating on what? You're meditating on what? By the way, meditation is not taking God's name, Allah, 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 or Christ, 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 or Buddha, Buddha, Shiva, Shiva. It is not. That's just taking name or thinking about God. Thinking about God is thinking about God. It's not meditation. Meditation is learning to concentrate on what? On one point. What happens with that? You acquire tremendous power. You can't believe it. Where is that power? Inside us. And that you and I have forgotten from the traditional schooling. All we did, teacher knows everything. The books have all the answers and maybe the computer Google and log it up and write it down. How to receive little data and give it back. That is not it. So you as the beautiful teacher and the parent, you're teaching your children, reflect on it, think on it, rewrite it. Maybe Shakespeare, so what? You can write a new sonnet in the ballad, no? You can challenge as mutants Theory of gravitation. Challenge it. Worst come worst, you'll be proven you're wrong, no? So what? You've taken the step. But mind you, the moment a child is trying to prove Isaac Newton is wrong, how much of he has to study Isaac Newton? So you required your purpose of dwelling deeper and deeper and deeper. Most of us are today serving.